In this video, we're going to discuss how you can actually create an, an interactive crossword puzzle uh, using Acrobat. Um, it's true you could do this in other applications as well, but if, say for example, you have a, an art image that was supplied to you uh, with just the frames, well, you can then very easily uh, create this, um, uh, this interactive puzzle uh, using Acrobat Pro. So the first thing you want to do is I'm in the forms panel. So you want to create a text frame. So I'm just going to create a frame. All right. And then I'm going to zoom in so that I can actually see it and position it as best I can within the framework of the artwork. So let's say right now I have this frame. Right now it's a little too big. I'm just going to scale it in a little bit so I can have a little white space around uh, between uh, the, the actual strokes, lines. Um, so I have this frame right here, text frame. All right, and then what I want to do is I want to work with the properties. So since there's only going to be one character, I'll say let's center it. All right, we don't want a multi-line setup. We just have we want to limit it to just one character. And you can change the point size. You can uh, do all kinds of things. Uh, but we'll just the point size right now is at uh, let's see, it's at eight. I'll make it ten. All right. So and I gave it a color blue. So now we have those specs for this particular frame. Next up, what we want to do, and again, I'll just zoom in a little bit so we can make it easier to, to see and work with. We want to take this frame and we want to make what we call multiple copies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make maybe 10 more copies of this. So I'll drop down to create multiple copies and I'll say give me 10 going straight down. All right. So I have 10 of these right here. And then what I want to do is I'm going to take, I'm just going to grab these nine and just move them over to the side. And I want to keep this one here strategically placed at the top. Next up, I'm going to take, I'll take one of these frames and I'll just put them in various areas, maybe at the uh, left edge or the left end of a row. Okay. And then... And I'm going to do just a, just one row and one column, so you can see how this whole thing works. Uh, and then you'll get the once you see how once you see the gist of how this thing is built, you'll be able to figure out how you can best make it apply for what you need to have done. So all I did was I just took the, that frame that I created, I put one at the top, uh, and uh, of this particular column, I put the one at the top of this column right here, I put one in the uh, at the left hand corner of this row, and this row and this row. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with this column right here and this row. And once you see how I how I do this, then you'll see how easy it will be for you to actually, you know, it'll almost like organically start to build itself. So let's start with this column. So right now we have this one right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have eleven frames in this column. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to create multiple copies. Again, you cannot copy and paste or duplicate because the each frame has to have its unique identity. If any frame has the exact same identity, that's if you copy and paste it, then if you type in one letter in one frame, it'll appear in the same frame with the same name. So when you're making copies, you want to do the create multiple copies option all right so now we're going to do but we know we need 11 total so we're going to say 11 going down all right and then we'll say one because it's going to be in one column 11 frames going down we'll say okay so here we have this you know going we have 11 total going all the way down then now we're going to see how many we have going across so we'll say there's one we start off with two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now we're not going to go twelve across. What we're going to do is we're going to go, we're going to go from this point here, from the starting point, to this point here, and you will see why it's important when we do this. So we're going to say we start with one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six total in this area right here. So we're going to click on this, right click, 
create multiple copies and it's going to be going across. So we're going to say we want one, that's going to be your fields going down, and then you're going to want to go six across. All right, so we have that right there. Then now we're going to um, have an additional one, two, three, four, five more going across here. All right, so we're gonna have five more going across here. So what we wanna do is, well, here's what we do. Before we actually build in the five here, let's take, let's select this column. Actually, let's take this last frame in the, in the bottom of this column and position it at the bottom, the very bottom of the column. Then we're gonna select all of these frames Right click and we're going to say where it has align distribute. We'll say distribute vertically. So you'll see now it goes vertically all the way down to here. Now we're going to take this frame right here that's in this row and we see we have one, two, three, four, five. So since we select this one, we're going to say six because it, it we have to consider it one selected with the additional frames. So we tap on that, we're gonna say create multiple copies, and we'll say, again, it's gonna be one down, and then it's gonna be six going across. Okay, now we're gonna take this last one right here, move it over, put it in this position here, then we're gonna select this entire row, and we'll right click, Using the distribution option again, and instead of saying distribute vertically, we'll say distribute horizontally. So now you can see what's happening now is this thing, and I'll just zoom out a little bit so you can see this. So you can see now this thing is almost organically starting to put itself together. But what do I mean by that? Well, let's try something else. I'll do one more. I'll do one more row. So I'll take this frame that I strategically placed right here, and I'll say, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven plus one, which is eight. So I'll say, okay, create multiple copies. Give me one down, eight across. All right, and then I'll take this one. One, two, three. So that's three across plus one. So I'll say, give me four. Remember, that's three plus one, one down. And then we're going to say four across. Now, again, what we're going to do is we move this over to that far right uh, square, select the entire row, and then say distribute horizontally, and voila. So as you can see, just by having these frames strategically placed in certain areas, you can actually start to just, you know, again, I say organically, let it build itself. So that's how you can create a, an interactive, and we can preview this, you can see, just there, they're all there, all right? This, that's how you can create an interactive, or build an interactive crossword puzzle using Adobe Acrobat Pro.